In this edition of the Spring Report, we are covering the new Ping Glide 4.0 wedges. We'll hit some shots, we'll discuss the technology, and we'll tell you everything that you need to know. Also, make sure you skip to the last chapter of the video for our final thoughts. Like the video, comment your take on the Glide 4.0 wedges, and subscribe to the channel. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole with Second Swing Golf, and I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Uh, new wedges today from Ping, the Glide 4.0. Uh, you know, the Glide series has been great for Ping. Uh, they're very popular, both amateurs and professionals. And they've also tweaked their grinds a little bit too, which I know is a big piece for you guys as fitters too. So uh, a lot of interesting things to look at here. But of course, just by the appearance, Thomas, you've got, you know, uh, we got four wedges here in front of us. What do you see? When just you know, what's your take by looking at them? There's definitely many options that yeah. are going to fit any type of player based on what they're, how they deliver the golf club. Mm -hmm. Whether they're more of a picker, whether they're more of a digger, whether they have to open and close the club face, whether they struggle out of the sand, or they're very good sure. out of the sand. There is a wide variety with all of these different grinds. Yeah, I know that's one of the key elements I know you guys look for just when you're fitting customers. as Well, do we have that grind? Do we have that bounce? Do we have that design of the wedge that you need. So Ping has offered four different unique sole grinds here. And then of course we'll get into the technology as well. Uh, and you know, they kind of have a new club face design really. They've precision machined it. They've also have a face blast, Emery face blast on there, which gives you a little bit more texture on the face, which as we know that texture and that um, kind of interaction with the club face and the golf ball is what generates that spin. So that's what Ping went for there, Emery face blast and the new precision machine face and that's gonna give you that feel and control around the greens. Yeah, I mean, feel and control is right what every golfer's after. Mm -hmm. Your wedges, they're your scoring clubs to the most important clubs really in your bag. If you can hit your wedges close, you're gonna make more putts. Mm -hmm. So you gotta be inspired by the confidence looking down at the club. And then a couple of the key pieces or material that they use, the 8620 carbon body, um, you know, that gives you that kind of that soft feel. And also there's the elastomer. CTP insert, which they've had that in some of their past clubs, Glide 3.0 wedges. They've also had, I believe, something similar in the I-210 irons and some other models going back. That really kind of softens the feel, especially when you hit it in the center of the face, it kind of gives you a buttery feel. So uh, I know wedges, you know, with feel is a very important thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually intrigued today when we're testing to really ha see how they actually do feel off the, off the face. We're getting off artificial turf, but I still think we're going to be able to tell how much softer they feel compared to say previous mm -hmm. models. And we're gonna compare against 3.0 and that's already got a pretty good feel to it as right. it is. But feel is, it's king. And you know, you gotta make sure that, that ball feels great off the club face and no doubt they'll probably feel pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, lastly they, you know, Ping always tries to make sure they implement a compact kind of shape players oriented shape that, you know, will appeal to those guys and girls that like to work the ball a little bit, right? Uh, maybe control the flight, hit it lower shots, maybe, um, you know, launch the ball high in the air, kind of hit that flopper. So uh, they allow that um, within these wedges with that kind of compact shape. So, um, and then of course, as Thomas alluded to, we are inside today. It is winter, it is below zero outside. Uh, but when it is warmer, we'd like to get some of these wedges outside and do some testing maybe in the spring or summer. And for that, you'll want to be subscribed to the channel. Uh, so when we do hit that live, uh, you'll be able to see that feedback as well. But uh, just for the sake of today, 58 degree S grind on both the 3.0 and the 4.0. We'll see how those compare, see if there's any differences there between those two. Uh, I'm not really sure what to expect though, because there are some tweaks made, but of course the 3.0 was a good wedge as, you know, in its own right. Yeah, and then the other grinds, there's a couple other grinds that you know, just looking down on them initially here, <laughs> they look really good to look mm -hmm. down at. And I'm, I'm excited to see how they perform, hit some chip shots and pitch shots and just see how they feel see if they play any different. Mm -hmm, for sure. Well, uh, you know, golfers, we'll get into some of the testing here uh, and then we'll kind of make sure you stick with us for that last chapter. We'll give our final take. So Thomas, you've got the S grind of the Glide 3.0 and 4.0 in your hands, 58 degrees. Uh, take a look all the way around each of them and you know, what are the major differences that you see? Right, so let's start with the club face. There's a couple of things that I do notice with the face. Um, first thing I'm noticing, we no longer have that groove that is right at the bottom of the face okay. with the 3.0. Now in saying that, however, the 4.0 groove, the one that's lower, is pretty low down there. But it's not as small um, and it's not quite, quite as low as the 4.0. Okay. So I find that interesting that they went away from that. 
Yeah. Uh, other thing I'm noticing with the club face is the contrast between where the grooves and the toe kind of where it kind of fits in. You're seeing a much whiter face where the grooves are, okay. as opposed to the 3.0, which almost kind of blended a little bit closer to the same color mm -hmm. across the entire face. Yeah. So I'm noticing sure. that at a, at a dre and then at a dress, definitely notice how it looks a little bit cleaner with that contrast. Okay. Um, you like that a little bit better? Kind I of do like that, yeah. actually. Yeah. And it's not, it's not shiny either. So it's just kind of like a matte white face Yeah. I'm lo looking down at it. Um, you mentioned S grind versus S grind. Well, 3.0 was actually standard sole. Right. They used to do standard sole, wide, uh, wide sole, sole thin yeah, sole, they had, uh, like different that. naming conventions. That, I mean, they've right. still got, I think, more or less the same grinds. Now they just have the you know, S grind, cold, W yeah. grind, E grind, T grind, and the 4.0. Yeah. yeah, I think we kind of know what they're what they are. They're yeah. kind of the same. A T would be thin. I mean, yeah, the standard w, sole and yep. the S grind are both kind of the grind that's going to fit the you know largest amount of players. Uh, in you know, in terms of wedge play, uh, yeah. And, and we'll, you know, in fittings this year, if you're fitting for Glide 4.0, the S grind will probably be the one that you fit the most. Uh, so kind of wanted to compare those two anyway, for sure. Yeah, and I'm looking on the weight on the back here. Um, there's this kind of badge. I'm noticing how it kind of sticks out a little bit. So there's like um, this. What do you call this? Yeah, that's that insert. You the, lost where. Yeah, the the insert on the back. Um, Looks like there's more of it as opposed to the insert here was just like kind of like a square insert. Okay. So I wonder if that's something to do with CG and launch profile yeah. as well, just the way it's been designed. Maybe could it contribute to feel too when we did some testing? Right. Might be difference there as well. Yeah, yeah. It's the back is definitely looks quite different actually overall, with kind of the way that it's been designed and the, the cutouts. Yeah. I mean, the, the 3.0 certainly had almost like a cavity to it. Right. With yeah. that insert there, it almost what's, they almost created a cavity for that insert to kind of fit in. Yeah, and kind then of some of that in the 4.0 too. 4.0 does look smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so that's the other piece. I don't know how much smaller it really is, or it's probably it's fractionally, but I fractionally, think it, it, it's yep. it matters, you know. But it does look like it's a little bit smaller profile to look down at from when I'm looking at the club and also at a dress too, okay. which I think it appeals to uh, you know, more of a kind of a. A player's look, as we don't want to see a, a large, large yeah. wedge in our hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do some kind of head-to-head, -head, at least with those two, okay. uh, the S grinds here, and we'll see if there's feel or performance differences there. Yeah. Yeah. My goal here would be trying to match up club speed and attack angle, and yeah. we'll see how they compare. All right. That was right at a hundred. Very nice. No more spin. After that one. All right, so Thomas, uh, you know, you just hit yeah, a bunch of shots now with the 3.0 and 4.0, 58 degree S grind. Uh, did you notice the difference? You talked about the look already. How about the feel, if there was one? 4.0 is a little softer. Okay. Um, I'm not going to expect like numbers to be you know, dramatically different. You now, both clubs, I measured in the lion goal, they both got 58 degrees of loft on them. Mm -hmm. Same kind of bounce. I wouldn't. I wouldn't maybe expect you know too much there. Um, what we're seeing here maybe consistency a little bit tighter with regards to consistency with the, with the 4.0, yeah. which is which is good. Um, however, it's it's 58 degree wedge, so you yeah. notice the so carry distance is basically 100 yards. Right. We're seeing the, the 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 numbers here on the table are very similar across the board. I mean, yeah. all the way across. Pretty similar. Right. Uh, Launch angle, the exact same. Mm -hmm. Spin rate, kind of the exact same. So, club speed, pretty much the same. Ball speed, pretty much the yeah. same. So, it's 
it's a new upgrade from 3.0 to 4.0 that feels softer off the face. Yep, feels softer. And then, I mean, I mean, for what it's worth, too, in your, in your testing here with your 1030 swing, the dispersion was a little tighter. Uh, you, know, you had this patch of the 3.0 shots, which was excellent, right? You know, right, right here. Uh, but the overall dispersion was a bit tighter with 4.0, so that's something to note as well. But uh, and unfortunately, that's, you know, since we're inside right now, we can't do a whole lot of testing or experimenting with bunker shots or, you know, interesting lies with the rough or anything like that. We'll have to do that later on. But, um, you know, this is kind of a, an initial test and it's just, I think it's worth noting. You know, you talked you talk about the softer feel, you talked about maybe the dispersion being a little tighter, but overall, they're both really good wedges. It's just there's not, in the numbers, there wasn't a giant difference. Right, and as I mentioned, I'm not going to expect that because right. it's the same loft stated on that golf club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's now talk about the the different bounces, the different grinds mm -hmm. that are available with with these clubs, and to kind of see who they're for. Now we've got four different grinds to discuss. Sure. So, so Thomas, we did some very minor initial testing here, uh, but I think the important thing with wedges, as we've always talked about, is sole grind and bounce um, in terms of the fitting process, right? So we've got four different grind options that Ping has is offering with its 4.0 wedges. And so we can kind of run through those and I'll kind of get your take on what type of player, what type of swing that they're best for. So the first one is the one you tested, S grind. Yep. Uh, that's kind of, at least in my estimation, the one that's going to fit the most players, uh, just kind of just based on the way it's constructed there. Yeah, it's exactly that. It's in the past, it's being called standard Stand and sole, mm -hmm. and um, it's it fits the most most golfers across the the, the board. Um, it's got kind of like a a rounded kind of rounded edge to it. Looks clean. Mm -hmm. It's got kind of mid bounce to yep. it. Doesn't have a crazy amount of bounce. Doesn't have a low amount of bounce. It just kind of fits right in the middle. And it's for a majority of golfers that are going to play with shots with the square club face. Yeah, for sure. Now. The next one here is, you know, it used to be called wide sole, now it's W grind. Uh, so you just see a little bit more surface area on that sole piece. Uh, what do you think about that one and what type of player, or maybe what type of shot, I guess, is that best for? Yeah, so this is going to be for golfers that maybe have a little steeper attack angle, mm -hmm. uh, playing out of softer turf, or this is kind of like a bunker club. Yep. It's, it's a good, good, easier bunker shot to hit, more balance on it. So I'm looking at 58 here. The W, it has 14 degrees of bounce on yeah. it. So significantly more bounce on it. It's gonna be more forgiving um, for players that have steeper attack angles. Yep, okay, now this next one, E grind. Um, now this used to be, at least in the last iteration, um, they had the I2 grind. Yep. Um, or kind of was that uh, high toe look that they brought to their series now. So this is what they're calling the E grind. So, it's, I know it's, you have a high toe type wedge in your bag, so you can kind of speak on the advantages of that. Yeah, advantages, uh, it's like cheating out of the sand. <laughs> it's kind of the, the advantage. Uh, it's easy to open and close the club face with. Um, I mean, it's really designed for, for ultimate bunker performance. It allows you to open that face up, and mm -hmm. it's really easy to hit. And, you know, Ping's got this, TaylorMade's got this. Yeah. Callaway's got this. Um, it's Cleveland's got. I mean, Cleveland's all these got, all yeah. these manufacturers are doing this, you know, for a reason. I think right. it's. I think it also gives some players that confidence when they do open that face. There's just a little bit more surface area there yep. for the ball to interact with. Um, so I think that's that's the reason I preferred kind of that that high toe look. But it is a, an adjustment for sure. When you look at you, you're used to kind of the traditional look. It is certainly, I know you've talked about it, an adjustment to, to get used to that. Right. Uh, it's unique to look down at. Mm -hmm. um, it looks very triangular for, it a, does, for a wedge. Yeah. It's definitely not rounded. So, I mean, the, the toe point's pretty high up. Yeah. Um, and the center of gravity, is essentially, mm -hmm. is what, what's doing there. But Yeah, I mean, if you've, if you've seen the I2 irons from the past, those kind of classic, uh, you know, that classic model from Ping from decades ago, it's got that same appearance that addressed. It's just now in the kind of modern technology with a wedge, so. Yeah, it also has a little dished sole mm -hmm. in, in the middle here too, which is kind of unique. Um, but with eight degrees of bounce, it's a little less bounce on it. It's a, it's a pretty club, and if you get used to it, no doubt, yeah. you're gonna play some really good bunker shots with these clubs. Now lastly, uh, this is the T grind. So, and this T grind is a unique one where not a ton of bounce on that one. So, right. uh, what type of player for that one, you think? Yeah, so this club is sexy to look at. Mm -hmm. Looking down at it, uh, it looks like it's probably the 
the most players type iron. Now, when you think of less bounce, that's usually what the case is. Um, so it's going to be for kind of your ultimate player that's very good with their wedge game, likes to manipulate the face a lot. You kind of notice there's some, some, some grinding on the front, mm -hmm. some grinding on the back, some grinding on the toe and the heel. Um, but less bounce, not going to be as forgiving, but very, very easy and workable around the green. Yeah, that's going to be for the really the ultimate shot maker. Uh, if you're trying to, you know, you know, really t target a pin and really kind of get creative with the way that shot turns out, I think the T grind works for you. It's just you got to be a little bit more precise than maybe some of these other grinds here with the with the shot. But um, you know, the, the Glide 4.0 wedges, Thomas. I think you know the kind of the unique face blast, right? We talked about that. Talk about compact shape getting a little bit more smaller even yet the 4.0 compared to 3.0. And we also talked about the, you know, the way they kind of use both that 8620 carbon steel body also with that elastomer insert in there. So a lot of unique things about these wedges, gonna deliver that great performance. Uh, but, you know, of course, like I mentioned earlier, stay tuned to the channel. We'll have some outdoor testing that will be added to the channel as soon as we can get outside and it's warm enough around here in Minnesota and we'll bring these out to the course and try all those different unique wedge shots that you guys will get used to on the course. So. Thomas, thanks for joining today, giving your feedback and your testing, your insight on the 4.0 wedges. I think they're going to be really good in 2022. Yeah, can't wait to do some future testing.